Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Marketing Show. James Hurst here with you. I'm super excited about this video. I'm gonna show you today how we can copy contacts from one location to another with Zapier, okay? So check this out, I'm just gonna do a quick demo. So right here, one, two, three, four. Look, I'm over at Cascade Family Dental sub account on the left. On the right, Chamber Think, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to a campaign and it's called Copy Contacts from one to another. Okay, Copy Contacts. Give it an action name, add to campaign. There you go. Should be on its way going through Zapier. Hopefully if I hit refresh right now, they could be there. Come on. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Pretty slick, right? Okay, so you wanna know how to do it? Let's do it. Uh, now we kind of settle down a little bit here and uh, and get to work. So it starts with the zap, okay? I'm gonna share I'm gonna share the zap with you in the description below, okay? Um, so first of all, let's go get that. Zapier is so slow. Zapier, Zapier. Um, yes, and thanks so much for the support, guys. I really appreciate the all the excitement around the channel uh, we've been having. Lots of subscribers, people liking the videos. I do appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, if you do get value from this, please like and subscribe. Um, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this share. So I'm going to share this zap with you. Also, shout out to Jacob. Um, forget his last name. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, let's just keep going here. I want to say Jacob Radcliffe, but that could be wrong. Uh, let's actually, let's actually, come on, let's give him his due. Let's give him his due uh, props here because he taught me some of this stuff. Jacob. Oh, yeah, Jacob Radcliffe. Uh, super helpful guy in the GHL community. So check it out. So here's the um, zap I'm going to share with you guys. And let's go ahead and pretend like it's brand new because everyone wants to know how to do this from scratch, right? So it's webhook to webhook. Okay. And that's great. That's great. Try this zap. So we're starting from scratch here. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna get a webhook. You're gonna get a new URL right here, okay? So let's go ahead and copy that. Um, <clears throat> the account that you're sending it from, you're gonna to go to automations, create a workflow from scratch. Okay, you can name whatever you want. Copy contacts to chamber think. Okay. Don't actually need a trigger. You could do this automatically based on any kind of trigger you wanted, but for the sake of example, you're just gonna send a web hook. And it's gonna be a post, and there's your, your URL from Zapier. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and get that published and saved. And now I'm gonna go back, and what I want to do is actually put a contact into that kind of get it going here. So I'm going to um, add it to the campaign workflow. This time I'm gonna put it to the other one, the one I just barely made. Any kind of action name. And now that should be on its way to, um, to Zapier, okay? So if we hit test trigger, there we are. That's the one we just sent through, okay. So that step is actually done, which is really cool. <clears throat> now, the method that you're gonna use is post. And then let me go grab the URL for you guys. So we're using the high level API, it's API version one. Um, and I will show you an example of how, how we're using that. 
So you want to use the, the contacts, right? We're making contacts. So it's the REST API. So grab that. And I will try to put some of this stuff in the description as well. So you can just copy it right out of here. Okay, so there's that. And then the data. So you want to pass in email, phone, first name, last name. There's probably a bunch more stuff you could pass through, but this is just for the sake of example. See how those are yellow there? <clears throat> we want to replace that with stuff from the previous step, okay? So there's that. Phone is gonna be that. First name is gonna be that. Last name is gonna be that. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. You're gonna need a couple more, um, couple more things here. This is a couple more things for the headers. Authorization header. Right, and then you put bearer. This is like where you put the API key, bearer, and then space. So on the on the sub account that you want to uh, get the API key for, let's go do that. So I'm going to go to my agency settings actually. Mm, yeah, so I'm in my agency settings. If you're not familiar with that, so agency dashboard here, settings and then API keys, and then I'm gonna search for the sub account that I want, okay? And you would just copy that, right? Or you could regenerate it, okay? I'll probably regenerate mine, that way I have to blur things out as well. So there's that, copy that, and put it right in there. What's cool about this is that you can do this on the 297 plan or even the $97 plan. You don't have to have the master agency API key for that, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then just one more, um, one more field here, content type is application JSON. Okay, let's do that. All right. So, I think we're ready to test here. Let's go to contacts. We're hoping to pass through Darnol. Darnol. Okay, here we go. Let's continue. Test and continue. Hopefully it works. Okay, it did. Looks like it did. So we come over here and refresh. We're hoping to see Darnol over here. Come on, Betsy. There it is. Is it Delmore, Arnold? Yeah, I think so. Darnold. That's it. Sweet. That's working, okay? So just that simple. Pretty cool, right? Um, yeah. So if anyone is interested in this, there's all kinds of information in the, in the links in the description below. Uh, also, I have put it on the end card here, the uh, 497 plan. If you guys are thinking about upgrading, I have some bonuses for that. And you can see all the reasons why I upgraded and everything you're going to get if you use uh, my referral. So appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support, and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.